everybody, it's Jo from Yoga Jog and welcome to day one of Butterfly Yoga. It's a great class. So let's get started. Remember you will be needing a block, definitely a block today. Um, strap as possible and some blanket or pillows you may need in one of our poses that we'll be leaning over backwards a little bit. So have your apparatus ready or just pause and go fetch it. Okay. Let's get started. So you place your feet in Baratona Sana, your soles of your feet together. This is kind of like a butterfly. And you're going to lie yourself down. Close your eyes. Place both fingers onto your belly. So your long fingers are touching. Knees out. Shoulders back and down. And once you just close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Just set your intentions for today's class. And thank yourself for being here. So as you inhale, I want you to put your belly out like a balloon. And as you exhale, allow your navel to work towards the spine. Focusing on that nice and deep breath. Just breathing. So this sequence is designed to improve stability and flexibility around the hips and the pelvis, as well as strengthening the surrounding muscles. This can be beneficial for improving postures, releasing tension in the lower back and assisting you with any knee pains. So please bend with your back and don't overstretch and listen to those whispers in the body. No body shouting aloud. So as your eyes are closed, a little saying, lessons from a butterfly. Let go of the past. Trust the future. Embrace change. Come out of your cocoon and fill your wings. Dare to get off the ground. Ride the breeze. Savior the flowers. Put on your brightest colors and let your beauty show. Just relax there for a moment. And then slowly you're going to begin to open up your eyes. Let's take our arms up above our heads. Inhale, lifting up tall. Exhaling as you're stretching all the way down. Once again, inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, stretch up those legs. Have a good stretch. And slowly release. So let's bring our right leg in. I want you to clasp onto your hands, your hands together, bring the knee to your chest, flex into that foot and bring your shoulders back, lengthen into the left leg and pull that knee in. So I want you to think about your hips, we're going to be um, readjusting our hips, so we're just trying to get them nice and straight. And as you do that, pull the knee in with your hands, push the knee out with your knee, does that make sense? So you're counteracting here. So you're pushing with the knee and pulling in with the hands. So I want you to do that. As you do that, you will feel there's a lot of work happening through the thigh and the hips. So we're just readjusting them. So as you do that, feel your hips, pushing with your hand, pulling with your hands, pushing with your knee. So it's just working into it. It's a lot of work. Keep doing it, pulling with the hands, pushing with the knee. We're just resetting those hips. And then slowly release. Take it down, left leg up, hold with your hands. Make sure that, that knee is nice and straight. Shoulders back. Pull in with the hands, push with the knee. Flexing the right foot. Pull, push, pull, push. At the same time, keep going. Keep pulling, pushing, doing the whole work. And feel where your hips are. So you want to be nice and square. If you can, you can push your back down to the floor. So you want to just really work into this beautiful pose. Feel all the nice movements. And slowly relax it out. You're going to take your right foot and you're going to place the right foot over the left ankle. And I want you to focus on stretching into it. As you do that, you might feel that you're pushing down into the right hip. I want you to focus on bringing that hip back, equalizing your hips, and then flexing into both heels. So you'll feel a complete different movement. It's the same as that pushing and pulling that we just done. So you have to get the hips square and then push into both heels. Just 
Just feel like a strange movement. And release. Let's move to the other side. Left foot over the right ankle and started pushing to both. So again, as you push into one, you'll feel one hip goes down the other one and you slowly just work into it. So pushing one over the other. So stretch, push, see the hips, feel what it feels like. Beautiful movement. And let's release. So you bring the knees up, I want you to bring them to your chest. And from here, we we'll place our hands on either side. Push them in, pushing with your hands, pushing, and now pushing out with the knees. So again, the same strange movement, pushing in, pushing out, pushing in, pushing out. Feeling which side is working a little bit harder and which is working a little bit gentler. Stretch, push it out, push it in. And then just give them a nice big hug. This place of feet are to the floor, hip distance, so right behind your sitting bones. And now I want you to push your knees together. So push the knees together. Now listen what you're doing carefully. Because as you push together, you tend to clasp and tighten your buttocks. Let's just push the knees together. So just push those knees together. Push. When you're pushing them together, where are you feeling? You might be feeling a little bit of nice inner thigh work. Push. Now, release. Now we're going to utilize the buttocks as well. So push and, yeah, push. So now you're pulling everything. Push. Feet flat on the ground. Sink them down. Push. Tighten. This is called Udiyanda Banda. Pulling in everything. Push. And release. Okay, we'll do that once more. Now it's just the knees. Knees. Pushing together. Let's feel the difference. Knees pushing together. Release. Now everything. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Oh, I must look hilarious. It's like I'm going for the toilet. Mm. Okay. Won't do that anymore. And release out. Fantastic. Knees and give them a hug. Ah. And let's cross over the ankles, hold it to your feet, and then we come over all the way. Into a down, into a uh, all fours. Okay, so hands directly underneath the hips, knee hands under the hips. Sure, that crap obviously did something. <laughs> hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Okay, holding it there, making sure your back is nice and flat. From here, we're going to work into our cat and cow. So Inhale, looking up to the ceiling, and exhale, rounding down, flattening out, inhaling up, exhale, rounding down, once more, inhaling up, exhaling down, oh yes, from here we're going to do a little bit of a puppy pose, so you're keeping your hips right above the knees, and all you do is you walk your arms out as far as you can, stretch them out, work as far as you can. If it gets too much for you, you can go onto your elbows or you can place a block underneath it. But I want you to stretch and relax yourself down. Stretch into the arms, stretch the legs in. So obviously, this might be a little bit too much for some people. You can utilize your blocks here. So I'm going to give you the options. You might want to place something down. Like this underneath your chest and that onto your head. There you go. And release down like that. You see how you feel. If you can go all the way, you go all the way. If you work into what you feel is comfortable. So my hips are still high and I'm stretching into those arms. Nice big stretch. And then slowly coming back up, placing my hands still a little bit in front, tucking my toes under, and we're going to slowly push the hips back. So again, like a puppy dog off the floor. And then lifting the tailbone up onto the tippy toes. So you bring your chest towards your thighs, you're shooting your tailbone up to the ceiling. Hold it here, let's turn our neck. Our head from side.
side to side. Say, oh no, Joe, not again, Joe. Oh no. And oh yes, Joe. Here we go. And let's drop our right heel down to the floor. Up onto the toes of the left heel, bend the right knee. Up onto the toes, right down. And left down. Up onto the toes, stretch it up tall. And drop those heels down. So you, obviously, if you can't get your heels down, it takes many years. These things happen. Trust me, practice. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> many years. Okay. So you're in your down dog. You're going to hate me for this afterwards. We're working into a dolphin today. So, look at your elbows. You turn your elbows. You turn them. Turn them. Face upwards. And you work down onto those elbows. So, palms of feet are flat on the floor. Now, you want to keep your shoulders back so you're not here. You're right here. I'm going to slowly start to walk your feet towards your face. But look, my shoulders are not further forward. My feet are just walking forward. Okay, you might think I'm going mad. So you might be all the way down here. That is just fine. Work to where you feel comfortable. We're going to hold it here for a bit. Keep the elbows in. If it's really hard, you can bring your hands together. But your head is off the floor. Okay, I'll walk my hands back up. Hold it here for a moment. Just re breathe into it. Slowly to walk your feet back. And we're going to work ourselves back into a down dog. So you can come up different ways. I'm just going to come up straight. Walk it out. Everybody right? I hear you. That's a yes. Okay, let's go back down. Elbows turn up. Down we go. Lovely. Push the shoulders back. Relax. Stretch. You should be looking at the floor. That would be ideal. Because then you can also see past the shoulders. And we walk a little bit in. And let's walk a little bit out. And you can stretch you back up. Fantastic job. Okay. From here, we're going to go into our plank. So you need quite a good distance for a plank. So you're coming up onto the toes. You're rounding the back into a full plank. Pushing into the heels. Straightening up through the back. Okay, from here, we're going to lift up through the tailbone. So lift off the back, tailbone up onto the tippy toes. And then the heels work down to the floor. Lovely. Let's do it once more. Up onto the toes. Arch oh, through the back. Plank it out. Push the heels. Hold it here. And up we go. Lovely. Okay. So from here, I want us to go down to the floor. So we just go straight forward into a plank. And work ourselves down. If you want to drop your knees, you're welcome to. And then just work me down to the floor. Okay, so stretching out the legs. I want you to make sure your hands are right by, thumbs are right by the nipples. The reason I'm saying that is because I think all guys have nipples too. Okay, so it's not that it's just the chicks. Shoulders are back, all right? Hands are flat, elbows are in. So we're not ducking, we're in. Okay, chest is forward. From here, we're going to just lift the chest. Okay, I'm not doing a whole big, I know a lot of you can go, woo, and go right up. It's not about the height. It's about how you utilize your inner core. So, if I'm lifting up properly, I can lift without my hands. Big difference. If I'm lifting up incorrectly, I can lift up all the way with my hands. So, we want to try and get the movement without the hands. The hands are there just for support, and this is also just day one. So I just want you to utilize them a little bit and have a little bit of a stretch up there. So just going up and down, having that movement, and making sure that you do not feel anything in the lumbar spine. I'm not working that area. 
I'm working through the core, lengthening and stretching the back muscles. Okay. I want you to stretch your legs, making sure that it is extension. When you're coming up, you are stretching forward and up, not up. You're going forward and up. So there's a big difference of going up this way and going up that way. So I want to lengthen up. Lengthen up, okay? I'm not going up backwards. Nice idea to just have in your brain. So we're going to hold it here. If you are very tired, you can place your feet on the floor. We're going to start working with the legs. So I want you to point into your feet and we're going to start feet like I've strapped them together. So if you have a kid around, you can get them to strap your legs at the ankles. <laughs> will be fun. And I want you to start to lift the legs. Not bending the knees. This is very easy. I want straight legs. So see if you can get off from the knees and lift. So elbows in, lift. If you're feeling lower back pain, you're using the wrong thing. So get your mind focused, close your eyes, and feel how you need to use through the thighs, through the core, and down. Lifting up and down. And up and down. Now we're going to take the arms behind us. You should be able to get a better lift. So remember, we're leaning forward and up. Now we're lifting those legs. Stretch it to it. We're not too warm, we're not going overboard. We're just lifting. We're warming up the body still. And down. And up. And down. Let's do one more. Up, tighten through the buttocks, tighten the buttocks, spread you to those feet, toes, and down. I want you to feel the difference if you open your legs slightly. So open the legs and see the difference. Now I'm Superman, woman, yes. And down we go. Fantastic. Place your hands underneath the shoulders, tuck in those toes, onto your knees, up we go, down with facing dog. Stretch it out. Hopefully you're all still feeling fine. Let's look at the hands. You're going to walk your feet towards your hands. Bind your bones to come to touch. Ankles are apart. Relax your head down. So obviously if you can't come all this way, you're up here, that's fine. Your hands are on your shoulders. Otherwise you're in full Uttanasana, which is great for um, disturbed nerves. And then menstruational problems, hands to pray, roll the shoulders, lengthen through the spine, up we come. Bring your hands together above your head, Unfa Hasta, Kalasana, our standing mountain pose, stretch up tall. And then we'll work over to the right side, so you can keep your hips square, just right side, stretch the top of the body. Back to the center, over to the left, back to the center, and then arms coming down. Fantastic job. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to have a lot of fun. So I'm moving my blocks up the way. You can keep one block just at the top of your mat, just in case you might need it. I'm going to just put this so I can show you some options. We work into this butterfly, so coming from this little butterfly in its little cocoon and then opening it up into this beautiful, huge butterfly. So we're going to stand at the top of our mats. I'm going to take it slowly. Work with me, see how it goes. So top of the mat, feet hip distance apart. I'm going to start on the right side. So we're going to start by bending our knees. So we're getting ready for this. Arms back. I want you to have a big inhale here. Okay. Then you're going to bring your right knee in. I want you to flex that foot. Pretend you're touching it, social distancing around the foot. So bring it in. And then slowly you're going to open up your wings. Open up, open up. And then place your foot on the floor as you open your chest. We've had this little bit of a back bend, so you've got a nice warm back. If you're feeling that, you'd be nice and warm. And then slowly bring that knee back in. Come right down, like you're holding your foot, but you're not. Now we're going to open up again. This time, don't put your foot on the foot. Put it just above. Open. 
and bring it back in. Now we're going to go all the way back. Stretch far as far back as you can. Step it out. Beautiful. Inhale. Lift up those wings to the ceiling. Fantastic. You're going to take down your right hand to the floor. Left arm stays up. We're going to swing our one butterfly wing. You can swing it around. So I want you to watch it as it comes around. We're going to do five swings. That's two. That's three. That's four. Watch it. And five. So obviously, if you're very uncomfortable where I am, you've got that block to place your hand on. Just by the way. <laughs> okay. From there, we're going to come up. So bring us 